In the next 15 minutes, I will show you how to build your own Homozi GPT clone using his books as the knowledge base so that you can ask any business question and get answers that look like they actually came from Alex Homozi himself. We are going to be building a rag using a powerful no-code tool called Langflow and we are going to be doing it completely for free in this video. The brain of our Homozi GPT clone will be Alex's books like $100 million offers and $100 million leads. And for this tutorial, I have purchased the Kindle versions and converted them into PDF text files. So please make sure that you are using only contents that you have the right to use for your own personal educational purposes or for your business. So without further ado, let's get started immediately. So the first thing you need to do is to download the Langflow. And to do that, you need to visit langflow.org. And you click this download button right here. Once it loads up, you simply fill in your email address, your first name, your last name, and your company name right here. Then you click download Langflow and it will be downloaded for you right into your PC. Then all you need to do is to install it. I won't be running the installer here because it's very easy to do and I already have the software on my PC. So once it has downloaded, you simply double click on it, you double click it and then the installation prompt to show your screen. All you need to do is to follow it. All right. So this is the Langflow software and once you've installed this, this is what you are going to see, right? This is what you are going to see. So what you are going to click here is this button, this creates force flow. Then you select this second option right here, the vector store rag. You are going to see two different flows. You are going to see this one at the bottom and this one at the top. Don't get overwhelmed if this is your first time, okay? Just follow what I'm doing. Now, what you are going to do is to zoom in. Okay, you can see the, the button here for zooming in and the button for zooming out. So if you tap this zoom in, it's going to zoom in the canvas so that you can see the components clearly. This is where we are going to be uploading our books. This select files components right here. So what I'm going to do right now is to click this select files button and then upload the PDFs for my laptop. Okay. So I already have them right here because I've uploaded them before. But if you haven't uploaded anything to your Langflow, all you need to do is to drag the drag and drop the file here, or you simply click this this portion, this part of your screen here, and then select the files that you need to upload. Okay. So once you upload the files, you are going to see them right here so what i'm going to do now is just to select this two and then click select files and you see that they'll be loaded into this component then i'll simply click this play button and it will run it as simple as that all right so the next thing i need to do right now is to you see this this disconnected so i'll just be connected back to the input all right so if you want to move your canvas around all you need to do is to hover your mouse your cursor over any part of the of the canvas that doesn't have a component. Don't hover it over this component. This will move the components, okay? So you hover it over the canvas, then you left click and hold and drag it, okay? So the next component that we're moving to is this Astra DB component. You need to paste an Astra DB application token right here. And in order to get that, we need to visit the Astra DB website. This is the website right here, astra.datastacks.com. Just visit it, okay? I've already created a database as you can see right here because I don't want to waste time in this tutorial. But what I'm going to do is just to show you how you can create the database, right? So you simply click this create database button here. You simply click it and then you give your database a name. Let me give it a name like Homozi, okay? Homozi, right? Then you scroll down and you select a region. You select the first region here. This is the only region that you can select for free. You select it and you simply click create database. Then you simply wait for this pending to change to active. So once it's active, you'll be able to generate your token. All right. So I'm simply going to come to this database that I've created before. All right. And then you simply click this generate token button right here. Then you click the generate token button again. You don't need to click any, you don't need to select anything. Okay. Click this generate token and it's going to generate a token that you can copy. See it here. Click the copy icon right here and then you are done. All right. Come back to Langflow. So this is where we're going to paste the application token. But we have two AstraDB components. If we go up to the second flow right here, 
And if you want to move, if you want to move this canvas, all you need to do is so click outside, outside all these components. Okay, click it. You left click it, and then you drag your cursor downwards. Okay, so you can see right here we have these two. We also have this Astra DB component here. So we want to instead of just pasting the application token here and still coming down here to paste it, what we can do here is to click this button. Can click this icon here to create a global variable. Okay, so if you've never done something like this before, don't get confused. Just do what I'm doing. It's very easy. Come here to this. See this icon right here. Let me zoom in. Look at this icon. Look at this world, this globe icon. You, you click it, then you click add new variable. Okay, then you paste your token right here in the field for value. Then for the name, you can just give it a name. Let me give it a name like Homo Z. Or let me give it a Astra token. I'll give it a name. It Astra token. You can name it Astra token or something that you can use to easily identify it. All right? Then you click save variable. Right, so here I'm now going to select this Astra token variable. All right, you see it's very, very easy. Just follow, come here, you add the new variable. Then once you've added the new variable, you are going to see right here. Then you simply click it and select it, and that's it. All right, so I'm going to zoom in now. And what I'm going to do next is to click this component right here, this open AI embedded components. Click it and you hit the backspace button or delete button on your keyboard to delete it all right so once you've deleted it you are good to go now we are going to come to this database this database option here this database uh drop down list and you select the database that you created on the astra db website you can see this database the homo gbt database that i created i've already selected it now while this loads i'm going to go back up here i'm going to go up Okay, to the second floor, the one at the top. You can see that we are working on the first floor currently. Now, we are going to come to this second floor at the top. All right, come to the second floor. We are going to do the same thing. We are going to click on this Open AI Embeddings here. This Open AI Embeddings component and we delete it. Right, then we come to this Astra DB application token. Click this globe icon and then we select this Astra token that we created. All right, we select it. And then we are good to go. Now we're going to come back down to the first floor. Okay. Just follow me. Come back down to the first floor. Then you see this collection. This collection field now. It just appeared. Okay. So you select it. And what you're going to do is to create a new collection. Okay. Let me zoom in. You select the create a new code, the new collection here. And then you just give it a name, any name. I'm going to give mine, I'm going to name mine Homozi. GPT. Then for the embedding generation method, make sure you select NVIDIA. Select NVIDIA. Then for the model, you simply select any one of them. But I'm going to select the second one. Okay. Then you click create. Now, what you are going to do is to click this collection fields again and you click refresh list. So you can see that it has been refreshed and now our new collection is showing here. So what I'm going to do is just to click it and select it. And that's it. We are good to go. So now I'm going to zoom in and then I'm going to come back up to my first, I mean to my second floor, the one at the top. And I'm going to do the same thing right here. I'll select the database and select the collection. All right. Now that I've selected this, the next thing I need to do is to come right here. I'm going to come to the right here and then I'll select this language model um, components here and delete it too. Right, then come to the search bar at the left hand side and you type grok G R O Q, and then you, you tap this plus icon right here to add the grok component to your screen. All right, now we're going to hover our cursor over this point here, and then we left click it and drag it to the input section of this grok here, and then we select this here, this model response. See this point here, we're going to drag it to the Input section of this other component, this child's output component. Now we need a Gok API key, and we're going to get that from the Gok website. This is the Gok website, gok.com, and this is what you're going to see. What you're going to do is to click Start Building. Then you see this. What you need to do is to, to log in with Google or GitHub 
or you simply type your email. The fastest way to do it is with Google. So that's what I'm going to do right now. After signing in, you're going to click this API keys button here and then you click create API key. You give it a name, then you verify that you are human and you submit. Now the API has been created. All you need to do is to click the copy icon, the copy button right here. Then you come back to Langflow and you paste the token, you paste the key right here. That's it. Now I'm going to click this model field and select the OpenAI GPT 120B model right here. Look at this right here. So I'll select it and then I am good to go. Now, the last but most important section is this prompt section. And I'm going to drop the link to the prompt that I'll be using to create my Homozy GPT. Just check this video description for it. All right. This is the prompt file right here. All I need to do is to press Ctrl A, then copy it with Ctrl C, then come back to my land flow, and then I'll tap this template field, Ctrl A, and delete everything here. Then I'll paste my prompt right here and then simply click check and save and that's all before i run this please text component i have to change the chunk size from 1000 to 250 then i simply come here to this astra db and click the play button here and it will run everything in order okay so after running this one it's going to run the speed text and then run the astra db and when it's done we can finally start our rag our homozy gpt it is done now you simply click this playground button right here and then you ask whatever question you have so i have a question ready for it already as you can see right here all i'm going to do is just to click this send button now and wait for it to give me a response now before i continue my homozy gpt did not work because of something as you can see right here the connection between this parser and this prompt disconnected so you need to always check if your if your homozy gpt does not work check the whole flow to make sure everything is connected as you can see right here this pass text is supposed to be connected to the context right here and then if i zoom in a little bit if i zoom out rather the chat message right here is supposed to be connected to the question okay so make sure that you you can take a screenshot of the dashboard before you start moving components around before you start building so that you can easily refer to the screenshots in order to know where each connect each component is connected to okay so this makes it so much easier for you so now that i'm sure that everything is connected i can simply come back to the playground and then paste my my prompt again and send it boom my homozy gpt is live you can see see the response that it gave me look at this look at this just look at this if you actually watched any review of the homo z gpt here on youtube you would notice a striking similarity and this is because the prompts that i use here was actually gotten from reddit even though i refined it because i have just two of his books okay but this is the prompts that um that was circulating on reddit where someone actually said they got the system prompt to alex homo z's uh, homo z gpt so i refined that prompt and i put it right here so just check the video description copy the prompt and use it for your own homozy gpt so you can see what i have here it is working perfectly now if you have any other book that you want to upload if you have more books that you wanted to answer for maybe you have some other business books you can come here you can come here to the file section the file input section right here and you click the plus icon in order to load up more files okay so you don't have to use it for this alex Mose gpt if you want to create any other personalized gpt for your own use or for your business use if you have as long as you have the books let's say you want to create a, a q and a let's say you want to create a specialized gpt for your organization let's say a law firm you can upload your documents your file your company files your company policy you can upload everything here and then you refine the prompts okay you come here copy the prompts and you can use Gemini, you can use ChatGPT to you tell it to refine the prompts, you know, to match your company, to match the kind of responses that you want to get. And always make sure that you have, you know, you tell it to add this context variable here, okay, so that you can get context and also the question variable, all right? If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask in the comment section and please give this video a thumbs up 
like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in another.